What's up? What's good? What's good? So, y'all yeah, guys, I just coming back from a meeting uh, with this work from home type of job, and it's like it went well. So, hopefully, I get something. So, okay, today I want to talk about an incident. Small argument almost took in place yesterday. I want to talk about that. So, um, yesterday. I kind of got tired and frustrated with one of the neighbors, right? And I wasn't the only person that was getting tired and frustrated because what this dude is doing is bringing sometimes three up to five cars into the parking lot. And then when he had company, they will park in another parking spot, right? So I said, you know what? I'm just going to be like a grown person and I'm going to go to him and I'm going to talk about what he's doing is, what he's doing is wrong. Because, you know, sometimes it's hard to reach the landlord and stuff like that. And I said, you know what, I'm going to talk to a grown person to a grown person. So we started talking. And I guess he's not liking what I'm telling him. I said, it's not about that. It's about you having all these cars come into this parking spot. And then nobody else cannot find a parking spot. Or they park in another person's parking spot. Maybe we'll get mad and upset because... That person end up parking in hers because you end up parking your cars in their parking spot. So he was telling me, well, I'm not the landlord. I'm not the owner of the whole parking spot. I said, okay, I know I'm not the owner of the parking spot. The parking spot, and I know I'm not the owner. That's why I told him. But you do have to know. You do have to let people know if you're going to park in their parking spot. Because people do get mad and upset about parking spaces. And everybody got two to a parking spot. So, yeah, he did not want to listen to me because he was getting irritated with me. But at the same time, I would have to, for me to tell you than some of these other folks tell you. Bro already got into it with this other dude a while back. And if he keep on getting complaints, they're going to ask him to move out. Back from out running errands in his hot as hell and I got this big black sweater on and plus I was at the gym working out getting in the end. But again, you couldn't finish recording because it got so hot in my car and I had to turn the air on and plus the sunlight was hitting my phone and it made my phone shut off. So I had to wait to finish recording when I got back in the house. They probably gonna ask the man to move out and he keep on getting complaints because wasn't the only one wasn't feeling having all them cars park in the driveway like that. That's not cool and that's not right. So I had to go to the stores, right? So I ended up going to a couple of people that I ended up bumping into and I asked them some questions about my situation, about the parking spot. And they all said that was wrong and it was like, it's not wrong of you to double park in your parking spot. Cause guess what? they would have done the same thing too if they was in my position. So my question to y'all, do you think I was in the wrong for double parking in my parking spot? Let your boy know at the bottom of the video. And I know this kind of like a crazy topic for me to talk about parking spaces, but it's like crazy. It happens so often at different townhouse, community, or apartments. That people will bring in more than one car and park in the parking lot and you will park in somebody's parking spot and that person will get mad and upset and then when they come and tell you about yourself or parking there when they come and tell you and ask you to move out of it people get mad and that's how fight will break out it should not be need for all that my house owner he was like it should be two to a parking spot not three not four and show not fine because that person can get a fine for doing it and guess what other people it was other people were saying the same thing at different townhouses that somebody can get a fine for having too many cars parked in a townhouse or apartment so i hope that's true i hope it's true because if it is that's on him not on everybody else that lives there my question is do you think the guy is wrong for bringing in three up to five cars and parking them in the parking lot? Let your boy know at the bottom of the video. The question is, 
Would you get mad if somebody parked in your parking spot without permission? Do you think the person should ask you to park in your parking spot? Even if you have one parking spot available, do you think neighbors should come to you and ask you? Should it be all right to park in your parking spot? Let your boy know at the bottom of the video. Thank you and have a God bless day.